After lysing the cells, we are going to show you how to perform the enzyme incubation. We are going to use the FP enzyme, though some other enzymes can also be used. The time of incubation and the concentration of the enzymes has to be elucidated performing titration experiments in-house. After washing the gels with cold enzyme reaction buffer, transfer them to a cold metal plate and add 50 microliters of either the buffer or the enzyme to the corresponding gels. Then place a cover slip on top of the drops. In the case of the 12 mini gels per slide format, transfer the slide to the 12 gel unit and play them on the cold metal plate. Then add 30 microliters of either the enzyme reaction buffer or the FPG in the corresponding wells. The great advantage of this format is the possibility to incubate each of the mini gels separately. Adding the enzyme and the reaction buffer in cold is done to avoid the reaction to start. When finished, add a cover slip on top of the wells. For the enzyme incubation, when using gels in gel bomb fields, they are immersed in a bath with either enzyme reaction buffer or enzyme after washing them in cold reaction buffer. For the incubation, transfer all the slides and the 12 l units to a moist box or a slide mode. Okay, so the alternative system you can use is a slide mode. You can buy it like this, so uh, you can remove the lid and there are several holes in the grooves. In these holes you can put some water to keep the moisture inside the chamber. If you want to work with 12 gel systems, what you can do is make intersection like a way to increase the height. Then you can put a 12 gel incubation chamber also in there and incubate everything at 37 degrees. The advantage of the slide mode is that it keeps the temperature more stable in comparison with the moist boxes.